Hi there. Today, we take a look at TUN, also known as the Open Network, a fascinating blockchain project that has helped facilitate successful airdrops like Notcoin and Dogs. And given the latest buzz around the news of Pavel Durov's arrest, there's no doubt that most people know about Telegram Messenger. But did you know Telegram is deeply involved in creating its very own Layer 1 blockchain? In this video, we'll break down what TUN is, how it works, and the role TUNCoin plays in its ecosystem. Before diving into TUN, let's quickly cover what blockchain technology is. At its core, blockchain is a decentralized digital ledger that records transactions across multiple computers, ensuring that even if some computers fail, the data remains secure on others. This decentralized nature makes blockchain highly transparent, secure, and immutable. Each block in a blockchain contains a unique code linking it to the previous one. And if someone tries to tamper with a block, that link breaks, immediately alerting the entire network. This ensures trustworthiness and fairness. In many blockchain networks, including TUN, consensus mechanisms like proof of stake are used to keep the system in check. Proof of stake allows validators to vote with their coins, ensuring that everyone agrees on the transactions. Now, let's talk about how TUN came to life. The story begins with Telegram Messenger founders Nikolai and Pavel Durov. They aimed to integrate a blockchain into Telegram to support their massive user base, but couldn't find a suitable solution. So, they decided to build one from scratch. In 2018, they introduced the Telegram Open Network, TUN, along with its cryptocurrency, Gram. The project raised a staggering $1.7 billion in one of the largest ICOs ever. But just as things were moving forward, legal action from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission forced Telegram to abandon the projects in 2020. Despite this setback, the TUN code remained open source allowing developers like Anatoly Makosov and Kirill Emelyanenko to take the reins. Today, the project is run by the TUN Foundation, completely independent from Telegram, but with the Durov brothers' blessing. Let's dive into how TUN works and what sets it apart from other blockchains. TUN uses a combination of proof-of-stake, sharding, and a virtual machine to offer a fast, flexible, and cost-effective blockchain. The network scalability comes from sharding, where the blockchain is split into smaller pieces or shards. These shards work independently and process transactions in parallel, which increases efficiency. Tons dynamic sharding even adjusts based on network demand, making it incredibly scalable. Another standout feature is the TUN virtual machine, TVM. Unlike traditional blockchains, TVM charges developers to cover transaction costs instead of users, making it easier and more affordable to use smart contracts. So, what makes TUN unique compared to other Layer 1 blockchain solutions? One of the biggest advantages is its deep integration with Telegram, which boasts over 700 million monthly active users and aims to surpass 1 billion soon. With this vast user base, Tun's blockchain is positioned to make crypto more accessible to the average user. For example, Tun's self-custodial wallet is directly integrated into Telegram, allowing users to send, receive, buy, and swap Tun coin effortlessly. This kind of user-friendly approach can bridge the gap between blockchain technology and everyday people. Another standout example is airdrops, a popular method in the crypto world for distributing tokens directly to users. Take Notcoin and Dogs, two notable projects on Telegram, which showcase how airdrops can seamlessly integrate with decentralized platforms. Both of these tokens were distributed via airdrops to active community members on Telegram, providing a great incentive for engagement. These tokens represent new opportunities within Telegram's evolving ecosystem allowing users to actively participate in decentralized finance through simple, familiar tools like messaging apps. With the TUN blockchain, 
Airdrops like these are executed securely and efficiently thanks to its proof-of-stake system and smart contract capabilities, allowing projects to distribute tokens directly to a massive user base without the need for intermediaries. These airdrops demonstrate how TUN is building a social finance ecosystem directly within Telegram's familiar environment. This is yet another way TUN leverages its blockchain technology to bring crypto closer to the masses, making it accessible and user-friendly for anyone. Now let's talk about TUNCoin, the native currency of the open network. TUNCoin is used for various functions like paying transaction fees, staking, and gas payments. It's also integral to TUN's decentralized applications, such as TUN DNS and TUN Storage. TUN coin holders even have voting rights, making TUN EDAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. With a maximum supply of 5 billion TUN coin, the project ensures that users can actively shape its future. Besides TUN coin, the TUN ecosystem includes services like TUN Proxy for safeguarding privacy, TUN Payments for fast transactions, and TUN Bridge, allowing interoperability between blockchains like Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. Now that we've explored what TUN brings to the table, it's worth noting how it compares with other prominent blockchain solutions. Each of these blockchains shares similar goals with TUN in terms of speed, scalability, and ease of use but they differ in execution and focus. Let's start with Solana. Much like TUN, Solana emphasizes high transaction speeds and low costs, processing thousands of transactions per second using a combination of proof of stake and proof of history. Another competitor is Avalanche, which uses sharding to handle high transaction throughput. But Avalanche's focus is on interoperability and custom blockchain creation allowing developers to launch their own blockchain with different rules. Next, we have Polygon, a Layer 2 solution for Ethereum. It's designed to scale Ethereum by making transactions faster and cheaper, similar to TUN's goal of scalability. But while TUN is independent, Polygon directly enhances Ethereum, giving it a strong foothold in the Ethereum ecosystem. Binance Smart Chain is another high-speed blockchain that benefits from being part of the Binance ecosystem, one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world. Its fast transaction times and low fees make it a strong contender, especially in DeFi. And we have Near Protocol focusing on ease of use and scalability through sharding, making it ideal for developers and users alike. Near and Ton have a strong focus on user experience. But TUN's edge comes from its direct integration with an existing massive platform. TUN's future potential is immense. The ability to connect seamlessly with Telegram's super app model mirrors what WeChat has achieved in China, integrating messaging, payments, and services. However, with such convenience comes challenges. The simplification of wallet creation in TUN raises questions about self-custody, and the potential risks for newcomers unfamiliar with crypto security. That said, as the TUN Foundation continues to grow the network, TUN is positioning itself as a leader in blockchain technology, offering cross-chain communication, fast processing, and a thriving ecosystem of applications. And there you have it, a full breakdown of the open network and TUN coin. With its integration into Telegram and innovative approach to blockchain technology, TUN is sure a game changer. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into blockchain and tech. Let's keep building a smarter, decentralized future together. Thanks.